Good night. Porter, say hi. Hi. What are you guys sitting on? A bed. Chair. Cute. You guys are stinking cute. I said that earlier and Grace said, we stink? I said, no, you're stinking cute. Well, stink. <laughs> so if you couldn't tell, Porter is naked. <laughs> That's why I'm only showing you him chest up and his potty is right behind <laughs> him. He, We are still working on potty training. He's actually doing really, really well. He still has accidents here and there. I mean, what else is new? But <laughs> he's actually been doing really, really well. Anytime we're at home for a long amount of time, I just have him naked or with a shirt on. And he does really well and goes to the potty when he needs to. And sometimes I'll remind him, but most of the time he'll just go on his own, which is really awesome. It's just getting out of the house. Like I'll put him in a pull up and he'll just pee. We were at Lowe's the other day and he did tell me he had to pee while we were at Lowe's. So I like took him to the bathroom and he peed the tiniest bit, but it was something. So I definitely think it's clicking. I think because we're doing this so early, I think it's just gonna be like a slow process. And I think over time, like he'll just get it. But he constantly wants to go pee in the potty. He likes getting rewards to go pee in the potty. So it's going really well, I think. He's impressing me. So it's good, still have accidents. I walked up the stairs earlier to see how he was doing. I had him like throwing clothes down the chute cause today's laundry day. And he was just like spread eagle on the carpet pooping. So you win some and you lose some, but then there'll be times where he'll just like go and sit on the potty without even like saying anything. So we're getting there. Um, I'm happy with it, but I feel like I haven't vlogged in a while. We went on our vacation to Florida and then we got like that crazy snowstorm. Gray had a snow day and I really haven't vlogged much because we really haven't done much, but I'm pulling up my camera because all of a sudden kind of last minute, we kind of decided that we're going to change some of the rooms around. And so it's the end of January. It's like January 26th, 27th. So January is basically over. We're getting into February. Baby girl is coming beginning of April. I'm hoping she comes in March. I'm hoping she comes early, but we'll see. So we're running out of time like to get things ready. And typical third child problems, I have hardly done anything to get ready for this baby girl to come. We still need to buy a bigger car to fit three kids. I haven't bought hardly anything like for the nursery or anything. I've bought clothes. My mom has bought most of her clothes. So we have clothes, which is good. Um, and then we have like all the, like I've talked about this before, we have all the essentials. We have a crib, we have a bassinet, we have a swing, we have a baby bath. Like we have all that stuff, it is in storage. So we need to bring that out. But in terms of like setting up the nursery, like have not done that at all because Porter's in the nursery right now. So my mom contacted me the other day. I think she's like in nesting mode just as much as I am, which is kind of fun. And so she was like, why don't we come over this weekend and help you rearrange rooms around? Because eventually, obviously, we're kicking Porter out of the nursery and putting baby girl in the nursery. Now she is gonna stay in Anthony and I's room for a while because she'll be in the bassinet. I'll be breastfeeding her like all throughout the night. But eventually she'll get too big for the bassinet and we'll put her here in the crib in the nursery. I'm in the nursery right now. So because of that, we have to kick Porter out and put him somewhere. So we've been dabbling with like different things we wanna do with room arrangements and like how we wanna approach that because this is the first time we're like, I don't know, we have to give something up. Either the kid, either the boys have to share a room or we have to get rid of our guest room because this is only a four bedroom house. Hang on, let me show you the kids because they're being so stinking cute. We are so stinking cute. What are you guys doing? Are you snuggling? Yes. They love snuggling together. Now we're in. Now we're in Porter's bed. You're in Porter's bed. Because yeah. a hobby thumb look this and wants to put look this a strace to protect up from falling. Yes, that's what the crib does, huh? So you can't fall out. It's so cute. When Porter lays down, he sucks on his fingers and twirls his hair. It's so cute. But we gotta stop the sucking the fingers because you're getting too big, Porter Hudson.
I get too big. You're getting too big. Me too. Mm, yes, Grayson. You don't suck your fingers anymore, right? You're a big boy. But Pluto does suck his fingers. I know. We're going to have to stop him soon, huh? Sorry, I had to show you guys that. But anyway, at first we were like, oh, we'll just put bunk beds in Grayson's room and make the boys share a room. But then Anthony brought up a good point and he was like, why are we keeping our guest room if like we never have guests? We've been living here since July. It's January now and we've had like two people ever stay in our guest room. So it's just like an empty room that we never use. Sorry, they're being loud. <laughs> so then we were like, okay, well, we'll just get rid of the guest bed. And then if we ever do have guests over, which is very rarely, we'll just have to figure something out. Well, then the other night, Anthony brought up an idea to me and said, why not put the guest bed in Grayson's room? Have Grayson sleep on the guest bed. That could be his new bed. And then put a single bed or bunk beds in Porter's room in the guest room and that can be Porter's room and that way each kid has their own room but we still have the guest bed set up so that if we have a guest come they can stay in that bed and then we could just put the two kids together in their room just for you know the duration that the guest is there and I thought that was actually a really good idea the only thing I don't like about that is Grayson at four years old is going to get like a queen size bed because that's what our guest bed is it's actually the bed I had when I was in college I think I was on like a twin and then I think I think before college I was just in a full Sorry, I'm leaving that room because they're being so loud. Yeah, like, he just seems so little, like, four years old. He'll be five in a couple months to be in that big queen bed. But it totally makes sense because then the bed is still set up and guests can stay in there. The other question is, do we just put a single bed or a twin bed in Porter's room? Or should we already put up the bunk beds? I'm not sure. We're kind of leaning towards the bunk beds, even though, like, we don't need bunk beds. We can't really see a reason not to make it bunk beds. Like, it's not like it takes up more space because obviously bunk beds are just on top of each other. So anyway, I think I think that's what we're going to do. Oh my goodness, the kids are freaking out. I don't even know. They're fighting over a blanket. Ugh, my life. So anyway, all that said, we need new bedding. Well, need... Yeah, I kind of need because I'll show you guys the only bedding, queen size bedding we have right now is like girly floral print because that's what I had in college. So I'll show you guys. So this is the guest room right now. This is the guest bed for furniture and the guest bed bedding. This is like the exact setup I had in college. So it's all girly because it's like a floral pattern. Obviously, it doesn't look very kiddish or boyish. So, my mom and I went to Target today and had a little fun and decided to get new bedding for the boys. So, we decided to go with a dinosaur print for Porter's room and the bunk beds. And then Grayson's, he couldn't really decide what he wanted, but we kind of went with like a bug theme or just like a jungle theme. And then we got like a quilt, like just like a green plain quilt to go on top. And then this is for one of the bug beds, just like a dinosaur print quilt. So that's what we got. I think we are going to put up the bunk beds because why not? And so, yeah, basically my parents are going to come over this weekend and they're going to help us rearrange. We're going to take the, the guest bed out of the guest room, put it in Grayson's room, take Grayson's bed out of his room, put it in here. Basically swapping, swapping out bedding and then also putting on a bunk bed for Porter's room. I think Porter will just stay on the bottom bunk for the most part. And then if the boys ever need to bunk in or they want to do sleepovers or whatever, some like Gray can sleep on the top bunk. I don't know if we'll move Porter to his new room right away or if we'll wait. He doesn't try to escape the crib at all. So I really don't want to take him out of that until I absolutely have to with baby girl. That's exactly what I did with Grayson. I waited until we absolutely had to kick him out and then I put him in a big boy bed. So I'm not sure what I'll do, but the kids are freaking out. So I'll talk to you guys in a little bit. Okay. 
Okay, looks like Daddy's doing a lot of work. He's getting the bed switched. And all the excess stuff out here. This is going to be Porter's new room where we're gonna put the bed, the twin bed in here, probably the bunk beds actually. But this is where the guest bed used to be. And then now it's in Grayson's room. And this is my bed from college. I would have never thought that my child would be sleeping on my college bed. But here it is. And Grayson is very excited. Is this he's, a big, big bed? Yeah. He's helping Anthony put it together, take it apart and put it together. Are you right there? It does make his room a little bit smaller, but that's okay. We're excited. And then this bed will go in here and this will be Porter's new room. And I do have new fans for this room and the nursery. Porter's taking a nap right now, otherwise I would show you guys. And then in here, which we're gonna have to switch over, this is baby girl's closet. This is where I've like kept all the clothes for her. My stash of diapers, wipes, and then like bows, towels, soap, just like different things we've gotten for a baby girl. So eventually I will switch these clothes with Porter's clothes and put Porter's clothes in here. So it's exciting. I'm really happy with each kid getting their own room still, even though we're at three kids and still having the big bed so that if guests come, we can put the kids together and still have a guest room. So super happy with this arrangement. I was telling Anthony, like in a perfect world, I would probably move Gray to a full because you could still use a full for um, guests, but we don't have a full, we only have a queen. So we're just working with what we got. We don't want to buy a brand new bed and get rid of a perfectly good bed. Funny enough, my queen bed that Grayson's getting right now is from Ikea. It's held up all these years. I got it back in 2012 no 2013 2014 so it's been like 10 years about 10 years that i've had this bed and it still still works still good so that's what we're gonna do i can see the boys having sleepovers on this queen size bed as they get older and then of course wanting to have sleepovers in porter's room once we get the bug beds up so lots of opportunities for the kids but this is exciting and kind of a step into like making things more real, like baby girl is coming. Um, this is like the first true step, other than like buying clothes and stuff of like, we're gonna have another baby and like preparing. So this makes my nesting self very happy. Hello up there. Hello. So this is the new bunk beds that the boys have. I don't know if I, Showed this to you guys yesterday. The queen bed used to be in here and now we have bunk beds. So it's got a bottom bunk and a top bunk and a cute little ladder that the boys love to climb. Mm. So eventually this will be Porter's room. You will see Porter's not in it. He actually went to sleep last night in this bed. I wasn't ready for him to do it, but he was really excited and wanted to. I'm sitting on the floor right now because I'm pregnant and I don't want to stand. He went to sleep. He went fine. He didn't cry or anything. And then about 1 a.m., Anthony and I both got woken up because we heard Porter crying. So we ran to the room and he said he was scared and wanted to sleep in his crib. Poor guy. We moved all his stuff back over, his sound machine. It was not much, it was like his sound machine and his blankies. We put him back in his crib and he went right to sleep. So he's still sleeping this morning. I literally just got gray up. <laughs> Say hi. Hi. So yeah, poor guy. We'll have to work up to the whole twin bed sleeping. Um, but I don't mind him being in the crib because baby girl's not using it yet and he could stay my baby for a little longer but yeah i love the way um that this room turned out we got this cute little dinosaur print from target and love it and then we got this cute little dinosaur chair that gray's sitting on 
from Target as well. I want to get a kind of beanbag chair for Gray's room too. This TP used to be in Grayson's room and we moved it over because Gray's room doesn't have that much room in it anymore. And then eventually I want to get a bookcase right here. Book My case. parents brought over a matching uh, nightstand. We don't have a dresser. So I don't know if I'll just use like this as his dresser. And then of course we have the closet, which has all of baby girl clothes in it right this now. This is Yeah, and then show me your new room. Yeah, okay, let's go see it. <sighs> Making me get up. All right, so this is Grayson's new bed. <laughs> this, uh, it used to be the guest bed, so he's in a queen bed right now, a little lucky duck. So he slept in it for the first time last night, and how was that? Good. Good. He didn't have any problems. He never does. He slept just fine. So he's got a huge bed all to himself. We need to move the name sign over because now it's a little off-center with the new bed. And I want to get him like a little chair for this corner right here because he's got this bookshelf so that he can work, read um, books in. So we will need to get him that. But other than that, this is Grayson's new room. It's the same other than the bed. He's still got the nightstand. He's still got the dresser. This is like all of his arts and crafts he brings home from preschool. And then um, his closet. These sheets are from Target as well. However, they were a full size set and we realized that we needed a queen. So I'm gonna have to go on Amazon or something and get him queen size sheets. But for now, this will do. And yeah, we like how it turned out, huh? The kids just always wanna play in here. This is fun for the kids. <laughs> so this is what we're gonna be doing all day today. Also, you'll see the boys got haircuts. My dad gave them haircuts yesterday, which was good because they need it so bad. It was like perfect timing because Grayson woke up yesterday and his hair was like sticking up every which way. It was crazy. And so they both got haircuts. They look so much better. They'll be looking nice um, in uh, like three weeks when we go to Florida and Disney and to go see my grandma. Also, Anthony and I kind of um, stole away for a little bit. My parents watched the kids for us, which was super nice. And we went and looked at some cars. So I've talked about this before, but um, we need to get a bigger car before baby girl comes or once baby girl comes. Um, because what? right now we have a Civic, a Honda Civic, and we have a Jeep. And neither of those will fit three kids. I mean, technically you probably could, but it will not be comfy. So I really want to get a minivan. So we've been on the hunt for a minivan. So we went to three dealerships yesterday. Really didn't have much luck except for Chrysler. We did see a brand new minivan, which looked really nice. So my parents are going to come back over today. We're going to go look at more cars. We still need to go see a Honda dealership. And then uh, I think we're going to go see more Chrysler dealerships just to see like what other dealerships have in stock. We're realizing that minivans are in high demand right now. So it's making it a little hard for us to find a car. But it'll work out. We'll figure it out. It'll be fine. So if you have a minivan, comment down below what minivan is the best. Um, around here, where we live in Columbus, everybody has a, a Honda Odyssey. They say it's the best car. There's tons of Honda plants around here in Columbus. That was Anthony's job for a long time, was working on Honda cars. But I'm not particular to a minivan. I just want a minivan. We went and looked at Chrysler yesterday and their minivan, their Pacifica, looked fine to me. My only really must-have is a remote control car starter and a backup camera just because I've gotten spoiled with my current car with those things. But other than that, like, car color, I don't really care. I like it to be all-wheel drive, but I'm realizing a lot of minivans are not all-wheel drive, which is weird. Anyway, it's the morning. Gray and I are just hanging out. Uh, Porter will be up soon. We're just gonna chill, hang out, and then yeah, then I will go shop for some cars during nap time. Mm -hmm. And then we're heading over to my brother and sister-in-law's house. They redid their kitchen recently, so we're gonna go check that out and watch some NFL. There's like the semi-finals. I don't even know. I don't really watch NFL, but um, Cincinnati's in it, and my sister used to cheer for Cincinnati, so we're all Cincinnati fans. So. I'll vlog here and there. 
um, if I think of it.